Hello and welcome back to PandaNet. Today we got 11k versus 12k plus. I got 11k on the last game. I forgot to mention that. Um, you probably noticed that already if you check in the video's description because I update that whenever I do notice that. So yeah, we're in a, a new range of people. Looks like... Should we do mirror? Uh, am I in the mood for mirror? I'm just gonna approach directly. Well, you really want that Chinese, huh? I really don't want you to get in Chinese. Um, that's not the right move. I think the right move is this one. Uh, because now I get this move. Optimal extension. You're doing that, so interesting. Don't really want to deal with that stuff right now. I can do this, which sets up this move. I'm not gaining a whole lot. So yeah, this is happening right after the grueling defeat of the uh, the Shadow 8K, 7K person thing. I never, I didn't get a response from him to see what his real rank was, but I, like I said, it was not, not uh, what it was out to be. Now check the settings again. I, I don't know. I, I have un, I have no unranked people, but. Maybe uh, the question mark doesn't count as unranked, so I don't know. Uh, let's see. So I can invade here. He can jump. He can try invading me, and I cover. Pincer the pincer stone. That sounds great. What if he kicks me now? This seems way too passive. Uh, this is also really low. So I might be able to reduce it by doing something like that, but I think I need to either protect my own group, although this isn't too bad. Um, I end up getting influence on it, and then I can use that to lean on this, so let's attack. Let's see what he does. He's blocking that way, that's nice. So then, what, do I just cover? And let him live small, get some influence, and then... I don't know. Diagonal move does not kill him. One of the covers that you diagonal, this move, that move, this move. Uh, descend, but he doesn't have the move to really attack on the side. He can try attaching to the one side. Um... So if I just jump out here and then do this move, that definitely helps that. Now he can back off, take his corner enclosure if he wants. Nope, he is peeping. Immediately peeping. So if I do this, push that. The intent is that he can then do this, but uh, you know what, let's do it. Peeping immediately and then invading immediately. Okay. Okay, if I do this now, um, he gets up underneath just fine, and then I can do this sort of thing. That's double Atari, unfortunately, because he has these stones here. So, um, if I uh, honey here, he can cut and then fix, and then I can connect up with this stuff. If he cuts this way and makes a panuki, I can capture these stones and be just fine here. So I'm going to do that. These stones are going to be in trouble next. So we'll see how he handles this one. Like I said, simplest move is just to cut here. Yep. And then Atari. I will get these two stones, but don't worry about them. Ooh. Ah, you know what? That's, actually, that's probably better because I cannot connect. Because if I go here, he goes there. I cut. He can Atari. I can Atari him back. Uh, he can capture, and then I can capture, so then my stones are actually good. I'm going to extend this one more time. 
I still have two week groups, unfortunately. Um, but we'll, we'll deal with that. Um, so I can get this forcing move. I can get this forcing move. Uh, this forcing move is no longer available. Um, let's see, this leads to a ladder, so... Actually, it's not even a ladder. It's just going to go to a net. So I'm just going to connect them all up. Get a ton of influence over here. And now what? I guess is the question. You gonna come back and uh, settle this corner? Okay, he's kicking me again. I I don't know. I don't know about this. Since I'm going for influence, nah, I'll just do the simple one again. And we're gonna do the same thing, huh? Uh, this three crow's nest, or these these three crows are invadable. So are we going to do the same thing again? Is that what you want? Uh, this time I have a lot more influence, so I'm just going to come up here. Get a little bit of variety, but... Interesting to, to kick from a three iron there. Maybe he doesn't know the there's three, four low approaches, and so that's what he just does. I don't know, I don't know. You're poking again. There's a one space jump. I can poke it. Ugh. Okay. Uh, all right, so now that's that done, I can actually probably uh, lean on this stuff, right? Or maybe lean on this stuff. Poke, lean, lean, lean. That doesn't do anything. This kind of invokes a response. I can try capping this. Splitting that doesn't do a whole lot. Likewise, because this group is alive. Um, which ones? Well, they're both facing this corner, unfortunately. How about the turn here? The turn to get a response and then take the center. Ten again! Yes, let's go for ten again. Let's go for ten again. Why not? Let's do it. Dizzy honey. Uh, huh? Uh, okay then. Well, that was a uh, really quick end. Very, very, very strange. Uh, is this 3-4 kick uh, a Joseki? I think I saw it. No, okay. Uh, so I'm gonna look that up quick. 3-4 uh, low approach attach. Uh, one, no, not a spacer. Um, upper attachment. Low approach attachment on top. Nope. Uh, three, four, low approach kick. Is that what it's called? Nope. Um, oh dear. Uh, what is that called? Approach diagonal. Nope. That's the uh, Shusaku diagonal. Uh, diagonal attachment, I think that's what it's called. Nope. That's not even a Joseki, huh? Uh, so not pincer, not the diagonal, one space low pincer, one space low pincer, low approach, distant low approach, there we go, let's just go by this thing, um, K, I guess K is actually a move, what is K? Uh, K, kick, oh, and then he, yeah, okay, so this is, this is what I was expecting originally, that's right, daily attached to knight's move, sabaki technique. Um, so when he kicks there, I guess my response should have been this. So that when he splits, we can cut and... Gotcha, okay. Uh, black is choice ways. Uh, technique employed by white to avoid the standard shape at A. 
goes back at least so instead of the the stand uh, they want us to do this whole knight's move now in this variation black has a stone here which i assume is very important for this Joseki stuff and he didn't have any of that so uh, yeah okay then Oh, and then, uh, yeah, that was another thing that was really strange, is the, uh, this was a mystery on my part. I didn't realize that you could disconnect. Um, but, I get those two stones for a ton of outside influence. Yeah, is the, uh, well, here's a one-space jump. I can poke at it both times, which, not sure what you were really gaining by that. Um, I, yeah, don't just, don't just poke at that stuff. So, um, anyways, that was a very quick, short game. Um, thank you so thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you like the video, please do like it. If you have any comments, suggestions, feedback, please leave them in the comments below. I do read and take every one of them seriously. Um, if you are new around here, please subscribe. I do a video every day, or I try to release a video every day. Um, starting Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I'm doing the the problems from the books, and then uh, every other day is I do go gameplay like this. So uh, thank you guys again so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.